Hello, in this video we will discuss about the nucleic acid hybridization and probes and what is the probes we will discuss and denaturation and renaturation of nucleic acid uh, nucleic acid basically uh, and that is the hybridization mechanism in the PCR you should understand about if you don't know about the PCR you can watch the video about the PCR in a uh, in my channel so I will give that um, link in description below so here is the DNA so what is the DNA DNA is contain a ribose sugar phosphate and nitrogen bases basically the backbone of the DNA is the phosphate group and ribose sugar which that is the two strand anti parallel and helical structure composition which that is the winding and to produce a helical structure and this helical structure is unwind during the DNA replication or another mechanism so here is a probe is used for identification our gene of interest like tag man probe so probe is different which that is attached the color uh, with the uh, 10 to 20 bases containing primer for example that is probe so here is the here is a bacteria when we will inoculate the dna or dna isolation so when this we will and we will isolate, isolate the genome these genomes contain are genes different uh, genes uh, the whole genome we are searching the certain gene but genomic dna of bacteria contain are that gene but we are not understanding that gene either present or not so we are just checking this gene can uh, is possible to presence or not so we are looking that things so that means we are choosing the probe for detection of that gene either present or not so let's begin to understand the find out the risk, uh, presence of specific dna sequence in bacterial genome so how to detect the specific se sequence in the genome of the bacteria so let's begin to understand and i will try to clear your uh, clear uh, the concept about how we can check uh, that so here is the nucleotide composition already know you know about that we have already know about the composition of uh, the nucleic acid but we are taking another individual from the same species to check that genome is present and active or inactive so that is why so but we are checking uh, either that gene are present or not we want to find out so here is the genome genome is basically a DNA so this DNA is the target DNA sequence are present which that is the target sequence is here and we are searching this sequence in the whole map of the genome so it means we are searching that gene containing adenine governing cytosine thymine governing adenine cytosine and thymine we are searching this and this segment is hidden in the genome of the bacteria so how do we check that so genomic dna we can uh, we use technique is a southern bloating which that is used for the detection of DNA and nucleic acid hybridization which that is in the case of microarray assay and probe is basically used for detection and bloating so the bloating is important thing that things is important to detect the DNA uh, which that is specific and that is the complementary DNA which that is gene of interest in our own gene of interest so the DNA denaturation and renaturation first of all we should understand and next we will understand about the nucleic acid hybridization and how to detect that gene which that is gene of interest so here is the DNA denaturation and renaturation we will discuss so this is the DNA double helix helical structure is anti parallel of the phosphate and ribose sugar containing backbone which that is attached with a nitrogen basis by a hydrogen bonding adenine with the thiamine is the double bond while the guanine with the cytosine is the triple bond which that is bond is hydrogen containing bond hydrogen bonding and the phosphate group is the anti parallel is the backbone of the DNA so this is a Watts and Crick 
model show that diagram of the DNA is looking like this. So the uh, X-ray crystallographic process can be detect the DNA. So that is another topic we will not understand that. So here is the nucleus which that is part of the cell we will separating and chromosome. Basically this chromosome is basically we will discuss about the denaturation and renaturation. So this chromosome contain a histone protein for, for uh, uh, 8 subunit of histone protein with the 4 type of histone types. So on the other hand the denaturation is this for example during the replication. So the parental DNA will be denatured to become uh, unwind by the helicase enzyme to give a single stranded DNA bubble will be produced that is basically lagging and leading strand which that is used for the uh, polymerization and polymerase enzyme used for it. So the DNA strand separating, uh, separating during DNA replication and detach the hydrogen bonds. So the helicase is protein used for unwinding. So that is the natural process for the denaturation and renaturation. Basically the renaturation means the leading strand and lagging strand again will be uh, synthesized and to become a replication of the DNA in the single to double double during the cell division. So remember. But in the case of laboratory, we will use the separation of DNA strands can be done by denaturation due to the solution used for the changing pH and heating mechanism for, for, the, uh, for the uncomfortability of the strand to unwind. So that is we will discuss that. So the DNA in a solution when we will put the uh, DNA segment into the solution or all DNA. So that means we will increase the temperature and separation DNA strand. So the DNA strand, double helical structure will be separate and unwind. Anyhow, so that is we can uh, use a melting curve of DNA for understanding the denaturation and the temperature which we can use the melting curve of DNA which that is easy to understand. So that is the denaturation. So I was thinking about that uh, you can uh, getting that things. So here is basically denaturation. I am drawing the graph which that is vertical shows that denaturation of DNA while the horizontal show that horizontal line shows that temperature. When increase the temperature it means the denaturation will be increased in the, during the threshold line cross so the denaturation will be increased. Where the threshold line is basically is here which that is the denaturation begin 50%. So next we will discuss also. So here is the melting curve of DNA is showing this but denaturation measurement less absorbance and more absorbance of light by base. So the DNA is contain a uh, different bases, four type of bases obviously and this basis is absorb the light, UV light and after the absorbing of the light to produce color and that color is detected by the photospectrometer. All nucleotide bases consist of aromatic rings. So that is why it produces a color. So next we will discuss about the important things which that is we are going to understand nucleic acid hybridization. So what is the nucleic acid hybridization? And what is the probe which that is using for detection of the specific DNA in the genome? So genome of interest. So let's begin to understand the nucleic acid hybridization in the real sense to understand. So the when two single strand stranded nucleic acid molecules of complementary base sequence form double stranded hybrid. The process is known as nucleic acid hybridization. So the nucleic acid hybridization. Uh, uh, again I am uh, I am telling about you um, about that when two single stranded nucleic acid molecules of of complementary base sequence form double stranded hybrid double stranded hybrid. The process is known as the nucleic acid hybridization. 
so it means that one strand is another and second is we are taking for example the primer and that primer can give the hybridization and that primer used as a probe when we will attach the color to show after the binding with the complementary strand binding with the uh, complementary strand to uh, re give a reaction in the case of radio uh, 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 radio waves or enzyme or chemical or something which that is used uh, to produce when detached from the DNA so that means we can indicate that that primer which that's uh, used as a probe which that is related to our gene of interest when bind with that gene with bind with that strand to show the color and we can confirm the color either color is produced or not if produced it means the our gene of interest is going 100% so here is the uh, graph I am drawing to understand the absorbance at 260 nanometer light so the temperature is the, the horizontal while the vertical is the absorbance of light so when the light will be absorbed it means the more light will be absorbed it means that when we will increase the temperature so the denaturation begin at the 50 percent denaturation is here which that is the threshold and when we move upward when the melting point will be increase of the thermocycler or something so it means the denaturation will be occur so that is known as the melting or denaturation after the denaturation in the polymerase chain reaction the annealing or renaturation will be occur when we will decline the temperature immediately so that's a renaturation that is the unnatural process which that is we are using in the laboratory so here is here is I am using the nucleic acid hybridization can take place in single stranded DNA so the nucleic acid hybridization can take place in single stranded DNA basically single stranded DNA not double stranded why because uh, the space should be so that is why the primer will be attached otherwise primer will not attach on the other hand the single stranded RNA can bind RNA to RNA so that means the one single stranded and two uh, one single stranded RNA and one single stranded DNA which that is bind also so here is the important thing is that the two participating of nucleic acid should be single stranded not double stranded so that is important things single stranded should be uh, proper working so the unstable is here which that is unstable uh, DNA renaturation while the stable renaturation or uh, annealing process is here which that is easy to understand so next uh, next step is that depending on the extent to which complementary base pairing takes place between the two strands so between the two strands that is important and application application of the PCR for example the nucleic acid hybridization we will discuss in this time so the here is the primer we will discuss about these primers contain a color producing product so this color producing chemical or something when will primer attach with a specific genome of interest so that means detach this product or substrate with the enzymatically activity to produce color and we can detect that color if color will produce more and more it means the, our gene of interest uh, uh, amplifying more so that means the DNA amplification in situ hybridization can be and DNA microarrays which that is used for it that is probe which that is used for it and PCR is used for the microarray assay and in situ hybridization etc so in molecular biology it is used for the detection of a specific DNA sequence in a mixture of DNA fragments or total cell DNA so in this way we need probe in this way we need probe Pro probe is basically a labeled molecule I am uh, I am uh, uh, I am repeating again probe is a labeled molecule that binds specific specifically to the molecule of interest 
so the molecule of interest will can bind so molecule of interest is that which that is the gene of interest we are detecting in the in the whole genome so if primer will be attached it means our our gene of interest will be confirmed so the example is target target sequence is dna or rna labeled molecules is labeled molecules or probe is the primer or rna with color or other things it can be a radioactive probe enzyme produce enzyme and substrate reactive probe or chemical producing probe or on the case of tag uh, on the case of tag man probe which that is attached with the cancer as well as the uh, cancer as well as the basically uh, uh, color producing substrate when cancer will be detached the color will be produced so here is the different uh, different type of probe which that is the specific probe why probe contain 20 to 30 base pair which that is the complementary complementary means that is basically the complementary of the gene of interest when will bind to begin a polymerase chain reaction to polymerase enzyme will polymerization to add more and more nucleotide to become a whole dna and that's dna again will be denature and again renaturation annealing process to become a that cycle which that is occurring in the thermocycler to amplification of dna segment after that dna segment will be amplified we can use the gel electrophoresis to understand the segment and com comparison of that segment with the gene genomic library so with we can comparison and we can check the disease uh with comparison of the normal cell and the disease containing cell and we can check the cancer and other uh, cancer and normal cell to check that gene or uh, active or inactive in the case of rna messenger rna which that is a microarray assay used thanks